What's up folks? I want to do a quick tutorial today on using save copy and for working with other people. So I know there's a lot of different ways that you can share stuff now. Pro Tools has their whole start collaboration, sharing through collaboration and all that, but some of you may not have that worked out yet or you might just want another more kind of nuts and bolts way to do it. So save copying is a good way to do that. So I have just a session here. It's nothing special, just some crud I was throwing together. But so if you have a session and you have a bunch of stuff in your clips list, you don't necessarily want to use a save copy in, which is basically a consolidate together sort of function. You don't want to necessarily do that with everything in here because it's going to be huge. It's going to take forever. So, but in this, in something like this, you might think, wow, well, I might need to get back to some of this stuff later. So what I would do, say you're about to go and get ready to transfer a project to somebody else. First, I would do a save as. So we're going to do save as, and we'll just call this for save copy in. So now from here, I'm going to get, I want to select all my unused clips, which is uh, shift command B in theory. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not shift command B shift command U rather, which is select unused shift command B is going to be the clear function. If you forget either of those, you can just go up here like I just did and go. So select unused. So that's what we just did, which is why everything there is highlighted. Then from there we can go shift command B. And I wouldn't delete them because then they'll be gone from that other session too, which would have made our whole save as pointless. So let's just say, okay, remove. I'm going to do it one more time. You'll see a funny, oh no, okay. So it got everything. So that just made our clips list way, way smaller. So it's going to make our overall save copied in session much more manageable to transfer. So now what I'm going to do is go file, save copy in. And this is the most important part here that you check all audio files. This is what's going to give you a consolidated session. So now I'm going to say, okay, it's going to ask me where to go. And now, where do I want to put it? We'll just put it on the desktop. So I'm going to call this Let's call it for transfer. So now when I hit enter, it's going to copy all that stuff. Now, if we hadn't gone through that whole process, this would take way longer because it would have had many, many more times worth of stuff to copy. All right, so everything is copied. So now I just want to point out when you want to go back and work on your original session, just go back and open the original one that's not called for save copy in or is not called for transfer, which is the new one, just the original name. So now let's go take an, a look at real quick the what we just made, which is this guy. So now what I would do here is I would take all this stuff. I just clicked on one and shift clicked up to the rest. And also notice our audio files are all in there. So click on one, shift click down, and now I would click, right click, and say compress. So by doing this, we can just send just this compressed zip file that's going to have everything in it that the user on the other end needs. Now I would just rename this, just click on it and hit return, you know, song name complete for sharing or whatever makes sense to you. There you go. I hope you found this helpful.